Hi, my name is Michael Santos. I'm the founder of Prison Professors, continuing to read from our course called The Digital Economy. It's a program that we created as part of our nonprofit with hopes of helping more people in prison uh, really understand why they should be going to class, why they should be developing their vocabulary and their knowledge of the world. Every day the world is changing, and even though a person is in prison and may not have access to the internet, that doesn't mean a person should not be working hard to build a pathway toward learning, toward becoming more successful, toward positioning himself for a, a job or learn how to create his or her own job in the new digital economy. That's the strategy that worked for me while I went through 26 years in prison. It's the strategy that I am still using today. So I hope that you've gone, had an opportunity to work through our initial course called Preparing for Success After Prison. But if you did not, um, it's, it's available at every federal prison and through Adovo. But if you did not, then um, have your family reach out through to prisonprofessors.com and we'll do our best to get that information to you. Um, but this course, if you've got access to it, I hope that you are going to be learning about the digital economy. I hope you've learned from our previous lessons. Right now, we are going to continue by reading about Binance BNB, okay? And here, oh, I always need to thank our sponsors at writingwrongslawfirm.com and whitecollaradvice.com. Without whitecollaradvice.com, we would not be able to distribute and disseminate these, these programs to people in prison for free. I also have to thank my collaborator, Ryan Salem, who is one of the ambassadors of cryptocurrency and is a has been a volunteer of our nonprofit. We couldn't have done this without him. And uh, I, I, I always have to thank the people that make it possible for me to do what I really love to do, which is helping people in prison prepare for law-abiding, contributing lives as, upon release, and not to get out just, um, you know, and have a life of mediocrity, but rather to, to find pathways that will lead to really fulfilling lives, not only for them, but for the people they love and the people who love them. So let's continue with these lessons, and we're going to read about Binance in lesson number 12. As I prepare to add to my portfolio of cryptocurrency assets, I am deliberating on the appropriate time to begin adding altcoins. For that reason, I'll share what I'm learning about some of the most popular altcoins of February 2024. In our earlier lessons, we have touched upon the innovation and utility altcoins bring to the blockchain ecosystem. Today, we'll go further into the Binance coin, BNB. From its origins to its current multifaceted roles, BNB exemplifies the dynamic evolution of digital tokens beyond mere transactional tools. Cheng Pen Zhao, I think that's how you pronounce his name, commonly known as CZ, founded Binance in 2017. It quickly became a leading crypto exchange making it possible for people to trade and store cryptocurrency assets. At the same time that he founded the company, he introduced Binance Coin through the initial coin offering, an ICO. Now, initially, the developers introduced BNB as an ERC-20 token on the Ethereum blockchain, which was the same platform that FTX used to launch FTT, which we described in Lesson 2. BNB had a primary purpose of offering an integrated utility token for the Binance Exchange platform. As with the FTT, users could benefit from reduced trading feeds on the exchange by using BNB to pay for them, fostering loyalty and enhancing user experience. So the Binance white paper and BNB's utility. Just as Satoshi Nakamoto introduced a white paper to help the world learn about Bitcoin, founders behind Binance introduced the Binance white paper to lay out the ambitious vision for BNB, detailing its utility in not just reducing trading fees, but also in a variety of other use cases within the Binance ecosystem, including payment for transaction fees on Binance's exchange and future platforms, participation in token sales on Binance Launchpad, use as a payment method for goods and services across various partners and platforms. BNB's journey from an ERC-20 token described in Lesson 8 to the native currency of Binance's own blockchain described in Lesson 7, Binance Chain marks a significant evolution. 
The founder made this transition to create a high-performance blockchain that could handle the vast transaction volumes associated with Binance's trading volume, which had grown rapidly to become one of the leading crypto exchanges in the world. The launch of Binance Chain and later Binance Smart Chain, BSC, provided a powerful, scalable platform for decentralized applications, dApps, with BNB at its core. These transitions provide evidence that digital assets evolve to meet market needs. Binance Smart Chain, parallel blockchain to Binance Chain, introduced smart contract functionality and compatibility with the Ethereum virtual machine, which I described in lesson number nine. This expanded BNB's utility far beyond fee payments, making it instrumental in the burgeoning field of decentralized finance, DeFi. BSC has quickly become a preferred platform for DeFi projects thanks to its low transaction fees and high throughput, with BNB used for transaction fees, gas, governance, and staking. Today, BNB stands as more than the utility token of the Binance Exchange. It is a cornerstone of a vast ecosystem that includes DeFi, payments, governance, and more. It is deflationary model through regular token burns ensures that BNB's value is intrinsically tied to the growth and success of the Binance ecosystem. As Binance continues to expand its services and platforms, BNB's utility and value proposition are likely to grow even further. From its humble beginnings as a means to reduce trading fees, BNB has become a pivotal element of the crypto landscape, demonstrating the potential of digital tokens to evolve in response to the needs of the blockchain ecosystem. BNB's journey is a testament to the innovative spirit of the cryptocurrency world, where tokens can evolve to meet the changing needs and opportunities within the digital economy. As we continue to explore the vast universe of altcoins, BNB's story may inspire you to think about the potential for growth and transformation in this dynamic field. Now, in our next lesson, we'll discuss another altcoin, Cardano, offering insights into its technology, utility, and impact on the blockchain ecosystem. So with regard to my investment, I am holding on to the four Bitcoins in my account, pausing my purchasing while we move closer to the halving. On Tuesday, February the 20th, 2024, at 4.01 a.m. Pacific Time, the price of Bitcoin settled at $52,301.06. My total investment in Bitcoin at the end of the day remained at $192,202.76. The total holdings of four Bitcoin had a valuation of $209,000. $206.40, representing a profit on my portfolio of $17,003.64. So pretty good return from the time I first started to invest on January the 31st. But again, full transparency, I am not a financial advisor. I always have to say this in every lesson, because when you've got a background like mine and you've been in prison for 26 years, you don't want to be accused of doing anything wrong. So all of these lessons, I make it clear, I, I am not a financial advisor. I am not telling anybody what to do with their money. What I am telling people to do is if you want to succeed when you come out of prison, you'd better start sowing seeds right now. Start learning, develop more knowledge and understanding of the challenges ahead, learn how you can develop your vocabulary, how you can develop your knowledge base, how you can develop your understanding of, of how different people build businesses around cryptocurrencies and the digital economy. And watch and see how I am doing it, right? Everything I am doing is exactly what I'm tell, suggesting that you do. I am learning and developing. You may not be able to create your own non-fungible token while you're in prison, but you can certainly develop the content that will help you do so. And that is going to take me into our critical thinking questions, which is number one, how does BNB's evolution from an ERC-20 token to the native currency of Binance's own blockchain 
reflect broader trends in the cryptocurrency space. Two, in what ways does BNB's utility within the Binance ecosystem and beyond contribute to its value as an altcoin? And three, consider the impact of regular token burns on BNB's value. How does this deflationary mechanism affect investors and users of the Binance platform? Now, I am a big believer that we need you to be working to prepare for a, a life of meaning and relevance and dignity. And these lessons are, are, are just one simple tactic as part of a much bigger strategy that we hope you are using to prepare for success upon release. In the last lesson, we, we offered that introduction to altcoins. Then this lesson, we discuss BNB. The next lesson, we're going to uh, discuss Cardano. But you can see, every day we are producing content with hopes of helping more people understand how they could use their time inside to prepare for success outside. That wouldn't have been possible if Ryan Salem didn't volunteer with our nonprofit to help me learn these concepts. It wouldn't have been possible if whitecolloradvice.com uh, did not provide us with resources that we could use to produce all of this, this content in every format. It wouldn't have been possible without the Writing Wrongs Law Firm uh, writingwrongslawfirm.com if, if, if they wouldn't have been available to us to provide guidance. I mean, they're committed to post-conviction litigation and they're helping us a lot by sponsoring our program. And that's why we try to give everything away for free to people in jails and prisons across America. We know you don't have access to the digital economy right now, but that doesn't absolve you of the responsibility to prepare to function in the digital economy. And if you want to memorialize your effort, we're going to do that for you as well for free through our platform at prisonprofessorstalent.com. Just send an email if you're in federal prison to interns at prisonprofessorstalent.com, subject line, digital economy course. If you have a family that can send you that email for you, great. We'll build a profile and get you started. If you only have access to the regular mail, put it in the mail. Send it to prison professors, your responses to prison professors, care of the digital economy course at 32565 Golden Lantern Suite B, as in boy, dash 1026 in Dana Point, California, 92629. The one thing I'm at letting you know is I'm working every day to try and bring more awareness to the needs to incentivize a pursuit of excellence. I know that when I was in prison, there were fewer opportunities to work toward uh, earning freedom. That's one of the reasons that I wrote the book, uh, Earning Freedom, Conquering a 45-Year Prison Sentence, is I wanted to bring awareness to the, the power of incentives and changing the system. But it's always a very heavy lift because there are a lot of people who don't want, they don't like the work that I do. There's a lot of people that say, you know, prisons are designed to punish and we should keep people there for the entire sentence. But I believe in you. Ryan Salem believes in you. Uh, Writing Wrongs Law Firm believes in you. WhiteCollarAdvice.com believes in you. And we're all working together in our own way, hoping to spread awareness to get more people, um, particularly people that might be, you know, invested in the crypto world uh, to support these efforts. We are determined to find, you know, solutions that are community-based, not government-based, to spread this awareness and help end the intergenerational cycles of failure and high recidivism rates, and help more people emerge as law-abiding, contributing citizens. We can't do that without more people in prison learning how to prepare for success. That's why we have these courses. I hope that you find some value in these courses, that you share your experiences with prisonprofessorstalent.com so more people can see why we need to incentivize pathways to get you home as a law-abiding, contributing citizen, either through a work release program, a um, home confinement program, or some type of way that will allow you to transition into society as a law-abiding, contributing citizen who is fully capable of functioning in the digital economy. My name is Michael Santos. I'm the founder of Prison Professors, and I believe in you. Thank you.